so welcome everybody and today what we're going to be doing is taking a quick community spotlight review discussion style thing we're streaming it live yeah and i'm joined today by Dalmont, ribbon and devon so what's going on everybody the newest of the new and the oldest of the old sorry we're sorry devon <laughs> uh well yeah you know hey he's, he's, he's an old man what can i say <laughs> and so uh yeah with that being said, I'm going to pop over to the page and uh, get started. The first thing, obviously, is uh, this is the Mushroom Fleet. We are a dedicated StarMade community. I support the channel with my YouTube account, obviously, and we have our own server and TeamSpeak. If you ever want to play, just go to mushroomfleet.co.uk and put your name under Register IGN and post saying, I want to join. And uh, you will be facilitated swiftly. Um, of course, we're using whitelisting and uplink, so you will need to have a valid StarMade account. But it is currently free, so if you want to come check it out, everything you need to know is in episode 500 on the Mushroom Fleet YouTube. So then, um, welcome everybody. Cheers for joining me. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for having us. And uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, fleet screenshots section, which was started months and months ago, and has been building up very, very nicely. So we've yes, we've been spamming it rather effectively. Yep, it's looking really lovely now. And uh, so what I'm going to be doing is taking a good long look at that, because tonight we're not doing a lineup review. We're going to do something a bit different, mix it up. Uh, we're actually going to look at what people are submitting in the community. So, we've got a 903 members, so that gives us quite a bit of stuff being uploaded. So, right then guys, first thing on the list is from Mr. Dalmont, and this would be Yellow Squadron. So you might as well tell me a little bit about it while we uh, bring that up. Well, uh, essentially that's one of a few that we're going to be seeing soon, and that is uh, for the Imperial Squadrons. And actually, we have Devin here who is the commander of Yellow Squadron, so well, how about you tell us a little bit about what Yellow Squadron does? Uh, well, Yellow Squadron is the uh, scout squadron of the Imperial Command faction um, that we're starting up on the server. Um, our main role is to scout out the enemy and uh, we provide light fire support uh, we do a lot of recon missions light escort missions stuff like that we like them fast and we like them nimble basically it lovely right. yep. I love that picture by the way it's great I'm actually gonna skip over most of my stuff because I put a lot of stuff up but I really want to feature everybody else tonight so um, my stuff's here but we're going to move on. So then, we have another one from Mr. Dalmont. In fact, is that is that yesterday? No, it's not quite chronological. chronological is it? Yeah, 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 it is. Okay. So they've got SFW Banshee. <clears throat> yes, that was actually today. It came up in the live stream earlier. That was the ECCM ship. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It's got uh, countermeasures like chaff, things like that. I really love it. I love that feature, and I want it. Basically, when deployed, it has so many entities. If you're relying on your nav to find them, you'll be you'll be con too confused by all the other entities. It's beautiful. The idea is to essentially have like five or six of those hop in and uh, join us in combat and provide support for the other ships. So amazing! I just want to welcome everybody to the stream. Obviously, this is going out live, so uh, thanks to everybody joining, and I will try to answer the questions. We're going to be going through the uh, fleet screenshot section right now, so. Just taking a look at some of the pictures people are submitting. So from Jordan, uh, I hope I can say your name. I'm going to say Jordan because I don't want to hazard saying your name wrong. And I know you're often watching the stream, so <laughs> we're going to take a quick look into 2014 0 There's four photos here. I don't know exactly what it is. Let's find out. So we've got what looks like the beginnings of a large ship, some kind of framework, which is looking quite encouraging. I do like that got quite an interesting frame to it. It'll be interesting to see how that comes out. And moving on, you can see he's got one turret fitted, you can see how he's done his power. It's very interesting to see ships when they're in construction like this. I often only get to see them when they're like, you know, finished. 
which is what I ask for really. Very nice. So yeah, thanks Jordan for submitting those. <coughs> that was really nice. So let's see if we can actually get back to the uh, page we were on. Yep, very nice. So Cal Wagner is the next guy. It has begun. The Strategus has obtained the blueprints of a downsized version of the Death Star Battle Station from Lord Vader. Okay, let's take a picture and have a look. Wow, green. You don't see that very often. And orange. And oh, oh, wow, actually, that is kind of fresh. Are you seeing the orange Star Destroyer? Guys? What's that? Uh, <laughs> the orange sorry. Star Destroyer. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I did see that earlier. Um, he's, he's building a Death Star, I think it's like, and he's got like an orange and light or orange and green Death Star, and like wow, a couple other like really funky colored. Plus one, plus one. I'm not plus oneing. Indeed, plus uh, oneing. I can't plus one myself. <laughs> right, moving down. So there's more tonight on Mushroom Fleet. That this, by the way, the tonight on Mushroom Fleet folder has actually basic is basically replaced fleet screenshots, which I used to do weekly. Now it's daily, and it's all in tonight on Mushroom Fleet. So uh, moving down past Ballistics Labs cluster testing, which is uh, some screenshots from today's live stream uh, about six, uh, 12 hours ago. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> so Skylord Zorak has posted in fleet screenshots 2014-02-26. Don't hesitate to name your albums, guys. Right, let's see. So we've got a nice little fighter style. It's kind of frigate style, but it's not that big. It's got some nice detail on it. Yeah. Looks nice from the front. It's only a little thing. I bet it handles nice. Nippy little things usually these say sorts of things. Indeed. Kind of like the engine design, that's fresh. Yeah, so effort. The ZWI graphite. So let's go back. I get the feeling I need to start opening a new tab instead of going you know, because it doesn't like like coming back here. <laughs> Okay, so more stuff from Carl, same picture. Uh, Martin Good, anyone like the look of this as a central core of Starbase? You guys seeing this one? I think it's interesting having the little kind of divot to put the ship in. I don't know. It's yeah. a different color. I don't think I've seen it yet, so no. there's that. And kudos to the Nova in the background. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Even though it's just outside of his draw distance, we see it. We see it. I do like the effort he's put in with the corridors. You can see how he's banded it with the wedge corner. It's quite nice. So yeah. Designed for ships to park inside, just as you say. Yeah, very nice. 252 views. Wow, I didn't realise there was a view count. Nice, that means I can start reading the view counts out. Hang on a sec. I need to I need to go back quickly and just check it out or something. <laughs> Hello. Ah, so it takes a while for the view counts to appear. Right, okay. It's good to know. <clears throat> right then, so getting back. Greg Hasselblatt says, the Squid Sessions exterior is complete. Refrain from pointing out it has six tentacles instead of ten, or eight instead of twelve, if you count the arms. <laughs> Excellent, let's take a look at this. 707Z class fleet. So what have we got? Oh, this is quite, there's quite a few in here. Very nice. Squid session, it says. The giant space squid. It's, I think, based off the uh, squids from Courage the Cowardly Dog, actually. Really? Looks really nice, whatever it is. Oh, this is him building it. Different, too. So, legit build. Look, ah, so he's adding more, ah, he's adding more tentacles. And they've even got little bits of crystal. I love it. It's actually really original. Yeah, there's not often we get organic designs. That look good. 
Yeah, that's the critical part. <laughs> even though he didn't, yeah, even though he didn't, you know, he kind of uploaded the same picture a hell of a lot of times, which is fine. But I was kind of hyped. I was like, oh, there's like ten pictures here, and five of them are the same. But still, outstanding work on the build. That was a pretty cool shot I saw it earlier. Definitely different. Oh, definitely. I'm super impressed with that squid shit. It's cool. Right, so we got IVD Vitros. The IVD Fleet. 141 photos. Wow. I think <laughs> I might have to skip over this one. Let's have a look. Let's, let's get involved. Are they all titled? No. Okay, so we've got something that looks a well, I kind of do, I do like that. Looks like a drake. Yeah, it does look, I was going to say that. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth, buddy. <laughs> uh, nice engine. That's not necessarily a bad thing, though. The third image in has a very nice engine design. That way it kind of isn't attached, it sits behind. It's very nice. I'm just sort of going to move through it semi quickly because I don't think I've got time to sit on our 141 but I just want to say that I really love the way that people keep bringing all of these pictures to us and that's what the section is for and I love the fact that people are using it. it gives me something to look at when I'm eating my lunch and some of the stuff actually deserves extra credit you know like chair design hello image 22 Nice bridge, bro. Nice core. I'm assuming it's another control room or a different part of the bridge. Dunno, interesting. Very nice. Oh, look at that meeting table. Image 28. Uh, another control room. Stairs. Hanger, nice hanger. That's a really nice hanger. Ooh, so, very yeah. much so. Yeah. Big dirty block of lava. I don't know what that's about, but it looks cool. Another big hanger. Another big hanger. Corridors. Oh, visible energy. Yes. All of the yes. Very nice. Image 39. Show the exterior. So obviously. Looking at a different ship now. Probably we're looking at a different ship for a while. We just won't know. Oh, there's a nice con tower. Little, little turrets, fleet logo maybe. Oh. Ah, interesting. Armour. I think it must be... Yeah, he hadn't finished. That's how he puts it together. Interesting. I like the work in progress pictures. So that would be in the view of Valkyrie. So I'm up to 58 now. I do like the uh, crystal bits coming off the sides. It's kind of nice. Using decorative blocks. So it's fun. Ooh! Some really interesting photos. Nice engines, bro. I guess they're like vents for like gas or something coming off and it's freezing or something, I don't know. It's interesting. Oh, oh that's funny. I think we've got a glitch. <laughs> so, 73. More blocky detailing. <clears throat> nice cannon. That's clearly a cannon. That's uh, 75. To 76 now. He's building another ship. Nice core. Nice, seriously nice gun. Epi uh, episode. Image 82 is very nice. Very nice. I think you lost me around 75 or so. <laughs> yeah, Something like that. I'm just still going, mate. I'm still going. I've just got to get through it because he. Fair play. I love how he's brought it up. You know, brought all these images in. And I hate to only click through them this quickly. But. At the same time, we've got quite a few other folders to go through. And at the same time, if you want to check it out yourself, go ahead and check out the Mushroom Fleet Star uh, Indeed, in page. Fact, that's a good, quite, that's a good, very good point. So I'm going to go back and move on then. 
<laughs> yeah, and you may as well throw a link up there. People can kind of follow along with you if they feel like it. <clears throat> That's very true. I'll do that. So, yeah, if you're interested in following along on the stream right now, you just want to head over to this page. I don't think you actually need to join. You can view. No, you can watch. Should be able to. There we go. See you, Yabi. Right. <clears throat> and then we're going to move down. So we've got some more from Dalmont. So we're going to take a look at Green Squadron first. So is anybody here to talk about Green Squadron? Zero's I not don't here, see unfortunately. Zero, yeah. Zero's not here, so that would be Zero's division. I think, um... Dalmont, did you get my... my message earlier? Yep, basically, uh, and based on that message, Green Squadron, bombers, heavy attack, uh, using a lot of SDF nice. technology as well. Very nice. Yeah, I actually uh, wrote something to Dalmont with it. I was actually quite proud of what I managed to write to him. But I don't have a copy of that right now for some reason. Sweet. Oh well. And then the next one is Blue Squadron. That's my squad. Ah, so what is Blue Squadron? We are the everythings. Basically, we fly two different types of ships. One is a heavy fighter, and the other is kind of a what you call a heavy escort, medium to light fighter. So we do a lot of escort, uh, we back up Red Squad, who kind of is the main fighter squadron. Um, and we do, when we do our job, it means Green can do their job, and in which, I mean, they can blast giant holes and things, because we're keeping everything off of them. Hmm. And that's what Green Squad does, leaves battlecruiser-sized holes in your ships. A ship in the middle, mate. Yeah, dude. I, I, um, the other day I was, I was different about with a couple guys on the server. One of them had a super Etendrod, mm -hmm. and I had my, uh, my destroyer class, and so they took down my shields. I was just letting him shoot it up. He hit me with a salvo of those Etendrod missiles. It literally almost cut my ship in half. Yep. <laughs> it was crazy. I was like, yep. holy crap. Those missiles pack a serious punch, man. I think Zero's ships are largely underrated. They're some of the best out there. Yeah, in terms of mechanics, yeah. They they pack a punch, man. I think you gave one to my son over the uh, last uh, last weekend. It's funny. Yeah. Before. Uh, yeah, no, I gave a Helix to... Yeah, Helix, that was it. You did. To... Yeah. Yeah. I'm not being plus one in things, man. Plus one, the stuff that I like. Get on it. Get on the plus ones. Plus all the ones. Oh no, I plus my own one. Oh no, I can't plus my own one. That's just cheating. Right, there we go. So, the next picture is a screenshot of some of the Blue Squadron ships. Enjoy. So there we are. Centurion. Helix. Yep. And... The blue squad outfit of the uh, Nova. 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 My That's secret goal is to one. make yeah. My secret goal is to make the Nova as popular as the Comet. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. It's great. It's a nice looking. And ship, like, he's plugged it in like every photo. It is a very nice looking. Yep. Ship. In the future, when people hear Imperial, they'll think Nova. My favorite is the Centurion. Well, thank you. Because there aren't many vertical ships. No. Centurion's asymmetrical, too, so that kind of adds something, I guess. Right then. Plus all the ones. Okay. Let's plus that one. Now then, Clark Walker has also sub submitted sadness while rest randomly messing around an accidental misfire of heat seekers. Wiped. Read more. Wiped out almost half the power generators on my station. Messed up the docking points and overall destroyed it. And I'm going to look at the picture. So 
So then, let's have a look at this, shall we? So we've got a box. By the way, off topic, Delmont, jump on the dead, sir. I am in the midst, if you will. But I have a super helix. Uh, I'm halfway so, through the super comet. And there's the chunk. So yeah, uh, watch out for those heat-seeking missiles, guys. Sometimes they can work against you. My poor station, he says. <laughs> it's got chunks missing from everywhere. It's all damaged inside. Wow. Yep. Yeah. This is why we have a uh, ban on that weapon on the server. They're unpredictable at the best of times. Wow, the back button is really working tonight. Okay. Moving down. And Red Squadron. Come on, you can do it, Grown. What did I miss? <laughs> it's your squad your squad's up, man. Red Squadron. Oh, yeah. Red Squadron. Uh yeah, oh. essentially command and control. Hmm. Um, there's a lot of us, and yeah, it's it's generally the main squadron. So while everybody else would have three or four members, we might have 15, 20. The main attack force, if you will. I love it. I only realized the other day that they look like white stars from Babylon 5. Which, the, uh, the one that they got... The pulsars? The, yeah, there, yeah, yeah, pulsars. At the very end of the series, they got these super advanced ships that just pwn everything. And they were called, I think, White Stars. I'm just looking at it now. Yeah, it's like if you flip one on its side, I guess. Yeah. Almost, yeah. yeah. I was a fan of that ship design, though. It was cool. So, yeah, very nice. And again, there's the Nova. Available that one actually is the Supernova. Very 1999. Now... <laughs> right. So then. Available for the low, low price of an Imperial membership. <laughs> That's it. Sign up. Right. And so then we're on to Green Squadron. Even though my yep. uh, browser's being funky, it's uh, struggling at the sheer weight of what I'm trying to do. So like, are, you, are you trying to look at more photos now? Come on, I need to show my bros the photos. Come on, scroll down. Oh wow. You can do it, we promise. Oh wow, it just went nuts. So we're having technical difficulties with the scrolling function. Um, That's a sentence. Plan. Green Squadron photo. So where is it? Come on. <laughs> Do you know what? I've got a feeling that maybe... Oh no, here it is. I think I'm using all the RAM right now, guys. So, this is Green Squadron. I love the helmet for the Green Squadron skin, by the way. That was all zero seven. Yeah. Yep, he's done the standard sense. He's the uh, the tailor captain. He's done very well with that helmet. It looks great. Yeah, yeah, I'm loving how you can do that. So it comes in all colors and all ranks. Really? Wow, that's amazing. I might have to ask him for an upgrade for myself. All right, so moving on. What we have is. Ryben with 99 problems, but a ship ain't one. I just did it for the caption. Not even gonna lie about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a it picture there. of the Argus. Mm -hmm. It is. The Argus it was just too good. Ship. Especially with the new backgrounds and everything, it just sets it off, you know? It's really nice. Oh, trust me, I know. Uh, I just. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to 
do that for no apparent reason whatsoever. So I did. That's pretty much it. Clark Walker submits the Puff Cube Shrooms, which are his first builds that can be called ships. So this is uh, going to be interesting. A step in the right direction, I suppose. Yeah. Let's have a look and see what he's done. It is taking forever. I'm going to close a few of these unnecessary tabs, I think. Right. So he's got quite a few pictures in here, so we'll just look at them like this. So it does look like he's made himself a little house store. That was my first thought, too. Yeah. I wonder how the guns were actually put together inside. That's often my first. Ah, hang on. We might be able to get a clue from this picture. It looks like you might have done something with missiles. Waiting for the pictures. They don't normally take this long. And that's not the one I clicked on either, but never mind. <laughs> Being a bit derby. It's more like a migraine trigger 10 than a, than a hailstorm, but, you yeah, know, it's a step in the right direction. If that's, you know, if you like whale ships. Because I do. Fair enough. Yeah. I do. I think they're all right. <laughs> um, let's see. I can't seem to load screenshots. I'm sorry about the uh, delay between me clicking next, but uh, Google's being annoying. So looking at the uh, interior, no, the guns are not laid out in anything like um, what I consider to be that kind of array. But hey, it's all a learning curve, right? Indeed it is. Yeah, it was missile damage as well. So back we go. Wow. I'm gonna have to edit this because it's taking longer than I would like it to take between between clicks. I'm not uploading anything. It's lagging on the internet. What's it doing? Wow. screenshots in this section um, I'd love to show you all of them but the best thing to do is to actually go on to the Russian fleet of Verde UK and see them all for yourself and I think I'm gonna have to skip the rest of the section just on the basis that my browser is uh... <laughs> I think it's because I'm trying to record it stream it and you know and all that put together is causing a little bit of lag Let's just scroll down and see some thumbnails. Yeah, that's basically that's the bottom of the page. So that's not even the last 24 hours either. So there is literally a lot. There's a lot of stuff in here. <coughs> so let's quickly move over and skim over some of the video sections. He says. Uploading anything, just want to double check. Over mine. Yep, okay. Or at least my first one. Oh, okay. Because oh. I just I just posted one because I forgot to do it a while ago and you kind of reminded me. 
Oh, that one, live stream dev build opening. Yeah, uh, okay. some people wanted the video itself just separated so that they just could watch it whenever. Up. Nice. All right, well, that's good though, right? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, no, I agree 100%. It's just that's sort of like whatever. And so uh, <laughs> Beza has announced that he's starting up his channel, so there's a video on that there. You want to go and check that out. There's a live stream dev build opening from Ryben, so you definitely want to check that out too. Omega Cybrin has brought out the uh, TDN Omega Ragnarov review. So he's made a review about his Titan. Okay, uh, I'm just going to see if we can get away with this. Sometimes you can't hear <laughs> anything. Uh, so, I don't know. Hello everyone, and welcome to another Star Wars video As you featuring say. my Titan, the TDN Omega Ragnarov. I love his builds. TDN Omega Ragnarok is the Titan class ship of my fleet. Now, if you want to see any more of that video, you want to go and check out the post. He's also got his own channel, I think. So there you go. Moving on, we've got the Vince saying, Guess he was bored. He made a new intro for Apex. If you want to check that out, it's going to be posted up there. Moving down, we've got Jason Kenny, Multi Core Fail Idea Part 2 of 2. Uh, also, the Derp to Prize <laughs> Adventures, <laughs> Episode 1, Season 1, Pjolt. Um, Mr. Devin has, oh, not Mr. Devin, sorry, that's someone else. Devin shows us how to make. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Devin. Using Cubitons. Um, yep. I decided I wanted to. Yep, that's Devin, Devin. Yep, that was Devin. That was me, Devin. <laughs> Devin's here with us. Yeah, I am here with you. Where did you upload that out of interest? Uh, that was like, oh, maybe mid to late last week, possibly. I don't mean when, where, because it's oh, like really where? weird. Yeah, because when you play it, it doesn't have a YouTube link, but it is YouTube. No, because it's not. It doesn't have a YouTube really? link. Really? I just uploaded it straight to the... Um, Should put it up on I've YouTube. uploaded a few Those videos. Really good. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, upload, I usually upload like just straight to the but I haven't really started a channel well, on YouTube. I have a channel, but I haven't really uploaded any. Pass the footage across to me if you want, and I'll put it online happily, because I haven't got any tutorials yeah. on that. Yeah. Well, I actually heard of another recipe that's even more simple than that, so really? I might look into that. And, oh, okay. Uh, and uh, once I get that recipe down and get a tutorial, I'll do a tutorial on that one. Cool. Uh, I mean, I'd gladly yeah. sit in with you, but Trouble yeah. is you need I mean, to see I, what I could you're give doing a, with the, with the Yeah, screen. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I, I would be glad to do an actual, like, full-on tutorial explaining, like, the whole system as a, as a whole. Mm -hmm. Rather than just, you know, like, oh, do this, 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 and that. I would together. rather do that because, like, I'm starting to get involved with them where I was trying to get in with the power systems back in the day. So that would be really uh -huh. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then we've got Jason Kenny again with his multi-core idea fail. Um, <clears throat> then we've got the Derp to Prize NX1, episode 1, season 1. <laughs> he keeps on bringing out these Derp to Prize episodes, and obviously they're uh, in light-heartedness, so check them out. Ryben released the Star Made Magic Carpet Ride with Saber. So That was fun. Oh, that was... Yeah. That was funny. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was uh, 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 during your little giant Ender Portal planet thing. Yeah. And uh, KY grabbed, made a magic carpet, and Saber and I took a little fly on it, and it is to music, of course. Of course. Music for copyright. To the proper music. But of course, you need to go check that out on Ryben's channel. So there we have that. Then uh, Rip has brought out the CFW Mining Ship Mark III by Chicken Wild Style. So uh, there's that to check out. There's also uh, Yelby has brought out Race 3 on uh, Mushroom, 3, Mushroom Fleet Sable World. Which is uh, way up quite a while back there. I need to check that out myself. I think I might even be in one of those races. Who knows? And then Race 2 on Mushroom Fleet. That was done again at Sable World. Next up we got Ox Bruce. Zephyr, and he's got Star Made First Proper Build by Bruce Power. So that's his first proper ship. Don't want to spoil too much. Jason Kenny with a 200 Isanth test. 
You can see all those red icons. Like I say, we've got a very active community with lots of members. Um, what are we up to, 900 now? Uh, yeah, there's 900 members in the community, and obviously quite a few of them are active YouTubers. Many of them you will have heard and watched their videos before. Um, but uh, a couple of them are with us now. But um, like I say, there are a few people you probably wouldn't have heard of. Achim Hannes Dorchorf. Oh, I'm going to get in trouble for not saying his name right. I'm very sorry, buddy. Uh, Four Planes is doing oh, yeah, lots the of Let's tutorials. Science guy? Yeah, the Let's Science tutorials are really good, and yeah. I highly recommend them to anybody. Um, and um, yeah, basically, we're just going to keep moving on down the page. So we got the Dev Building live stream and 100 sub special. Congratulations, Ryben, on breaking the 100 subs. I'm actually at over 200 now. But um, yeah, there you go. Congratulations nice. again <laughs> for the 200. Well, thank um, you. We've also got the live stream conclusion video on February the 10th, and then Apex released a video on the Dev Build collision damage. So if you've heard of Apex, you need to go check that out because that's pretty entertaining. I remember that one; really good stuff. Um, after the death brick was brought, we resurrected a couple of the old PvP arenas, such as the Hang'em High Halo Arena, which I made months and months and months ago. And uh, Biostrax saying, "Congrats, Ryben." In the chat. Oh, well, thanks, Bio. Oh, I think pretty much um, all of them are. <laughs> so, well, thank you to all of you guys, and hopefully, uh, hopefully there'll be many more to come. Cool. Obviously, yeah. And, yeah. spoilers, there might be something coming out late tonight that y'all might want to see tomorrow morning. Awesome. There's a Rome PvP fight video. The star made armored whale gasm, the worst smedit Apex has ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> um, Ryben brought out the classic uh, fleet video, War Were Declared, which is. Uh, no, yeah, that's kind of become a staple. It's going to be go down in history uh, as the day the server went to war. Yeah, that was a, that that was was a, a good time. Day, yeah. yeah, that was really good. I'm looking yeah, forward to doing a lot more of that. Maybe less of okay. the political implosions, though. More of the fights. Less of the... Agreed. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, obviously... Uh, Ding -ding a yeah, the here. first person to get tucked down, didn't I? Uh, yeah. So we have the fight on Mushroom Fleet Service Spawn with Yalby. Which is... I haven't, I haven't seen that one myself. I'm going to plus one it. I haven't seen it. I know it's good. That's just how it works. It's Yelby. I'm going to check it out in a bit. So, Richard Rod has done Let's Build Rear Paw Station. He's obviously doing a Let's Build at the moment, which or was at the beginning of the month, rather. Some really detailed work. I'm watching those. See, I'm not plussing all the ones, guys. I'm slacking. There you go. I plussed his episode one. Live stream amount announcement by Ryben. Apex Origin yep. Saturn versus 100. Isn't brilliant video? Definitely should check that out. And we're only back to February the second, so I haven't even gone into January yet. Um, more by Ryben, Hooded Lizerman, Adrian Aiken, Origus, Origus City. Uh, all friends of Mushroom Fleet and all posting up their videos, and I encourage as many people to post up their videos because that's what we're here for. We're an open community focused on Starmade. Of course, there are other games, and there is a Channel B, but we're not talking about that today. So, uh, <clears throat> I think I'm going to stop going through these, because otherwise we will be here all night. Um, yes, yeah, kind of true. <laughs> so, like, after Jeez. this, I think what I'm going to do is skip down to the register IGN section one more time and just remind people if they want to join the community all they got to do is go to mushroomfleet.co.uk throw your name in IGN we'll get you whitelisted if you get lost episode 500 explains it all and as you can see keep signing me out as you can see, oh, Q&A part 5 is out. 
Let's just go back to that. Where is it? Q&A. Yeah, I'm posted up on then. Plug. Three, one hour ago, three views. Get 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 on it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Make me famous! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and yeah. Um, also, guys, I'm not trolling you, and I can count. Just so you know, for everyone watching right now, that's 7.31. That's the last video I uploaded on February the 26th at 2.58 a.m. Okay, which is about 24 hours ago, nearly. So if I now just scroll down the page, uh, the videos are there. They're just not public. Because if I was to release eight videos a day, I'd probably get committed by my family and there would be an intervention. Okay. <laughs> we would we would we would do the intervention. <laughs> and there are a few missing numbers, but those are I, I think we reasons. might we might do uh might do more harm than good though. We'd be like, I think Tom, the the best solution to this problem is to do it more. Yes. Got to get yeah. it out, get out of your, of system. your system. Get it out of your system. I agree. That is exactly. Yeah. But for example, if I was to just watch one of these videos that isn't out, oh, it works now. Fine, I'll bring it out. <laughs> Fine. I was going to show you how YouTube was broken, and it looks like they fixed the video. Mm, okay. I'll be back with that, because there are lots of them. Anyway, so I think the last thing I wanted to do was just take a quick look at the StarMade Reddit and see if there's anything there worth mentioning. So I'm going to start at the bottom of the screen, which is number 25. So we've got Atlas by Lego Robot. Interesting. Ah, the lightning effects. This is the lightning effect which inspired the discussion on the more decorative blocks for the game. So kudos to you, bloke, because that is the ship that's uh, possibly going to bring something really new and fresh to the game. So look, a little bit of photoshopping. It gives the devs funny ideas which make the game even more awesome. That it does. Yep. So please, more shops. More shops. It's Lego Robot 17. Uh, new icon logo by. Oh gosh. Well, it's interesting. And there are 27 comments and 19 uprates. 30 upvotes. Oh yeah, that's missing <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, first comment. Damn. Thank you for your suggestion. Although we already have a new one by a real designer this time, not me. Link. Oh, <laughs> scoop. You're looking at the new StarMade logo. Save. <laughs> Just, uh, have you seen this, guys? No. Mm -hmm. no. I'm going to go check it out. Okay, I'm just going to throw a link in the uh, TeamSpeak for you. I've got a link to the image. There you go. I'm actually liking that. It's sort of, it's quite strong with the detailing. It's nice. What do you think? Oh, my internet is... Oh, oh really? Oh, no, 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 I... Oh. Hmm. I like it. I like it, too. I like the fact that they've essentially kept the old shape, too. Yeah, it's not too different, but it's different enough and better in all the right ways. Yeah. I like it. It looks more like a ship again. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Which I like. So, kudos. I like that new design. Okay, so, possible bug power drain being broken by Dog Dad. Oh, that was me as well. That's my, um, Video Reddit bug name. Report. It's the same as my, uh, same as my, uh, Twitch and IGN. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a bug report. Like the, uh, you know how we were talking, Tom, about those power reactor design things? Yeah. Apparently they don't work right now in the dev build. Oh right. Um, yeah, if you watch the video, there's like I don't know if it's like a bug that like the power drains just pass through the the reactor without, without <laughs> doing anything. This, these, these new gifts are amazing. This tank's just getting annihilated from an orbital strike by the looks of it. Oh, is that the? Uh... That was Saber. <laughs> yeah, nine and ten. That's Saber. 
Was that your orbital platform or just another ship? That was the orbital platform. I thought it was, because I could see it going round and round like a clock hand. Damage. And I was thinking, yeah, and I've been stood in the middle of this. <laughs> I remember what that's like. But that's a great gif. I love the gate. I love the gif. Oh, that tank got actually owned. <laughs> Excellent stuff. And I am skipping some things because if I went through everything by everyone, then again we'd be here all day. So just going to pick a few more things out. So we've got Dev Talk with Cal Berry. We've got uh, want to be involved in the official trailer? Find out here. So let's take a look at that, shall we? Oh no, it's a video. You've got to go and watch it yourself. Bench Minecraft, go and check out his channel. And we'll get a little link put in the description of the video. So, let's see, more bugs. Yes, the proposed planet type is something I'll try to implement in the future by schema. Official. Another link to the same video. <laughs> no comments. Well, upright. <laughs> it's a fickle thing, Reddit. So, tried the new dev build after downloading it to check the new helmet skin made a GIF. Awesome. So, uh, let's see what the GIF is, shall we? Fresh. He's done a trick to make it look like helicopter blades. <laughs> nice. So then, ambush by Jotunpol. Do we know Jotunpol? Not off the top of my head now. Well, he's got I've some seen him post a few times. Yeah, he's got some interesting ship designs. Seems like a popular little screenshot there. That's quite cool. Unfortunately, we have not yet assimilated all of the uh, builders into Mushroom Fleet, but we're getting there. Yeah, we, th we like we throw out the messenger pigeons, and some of them come back. We try. Hmm. So maybe the space well a video did some artsy stuff on a work in progress planet eating ship like, and that is it looks like a solar sailor. But actually, it's a salvaging sail. <laughs> and I do like the artsy stuff. It's a nice filigree design which he's put in. Pixel art, you know? It does break up the big sort of. Yeah, that's what that sort of design really helps with. It does, yeah, to break up the big flat surfaces. So, kudos. I try to do that with. I've tried to do that before. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, symmetry mode really, really is your friend, though, isn't it? Oh, yes, because when you have to switch to the other side, trying to replicate something complex, mm -hmm. not so much fun. No. So, moving up, is there any news about NPCs? Yes, there is. Go and watch the various dev Q&A uh, videos on Ryben's channel. Uh, how do I destroy entities? There will be people telling them how to do that. An issue I've seen brought up a lot with 37 comments. Well, I might have to dig in. One thing that irks me about this game is a ship has to be... For a ship to be good, it has to be massive. There is no use for a small ship. There is no penalty for size. The only penalty for being small. I think rebalancing is needed. Thoughts? And then we have the gates open. <laughs> So yeah, um, that's always been a thing, and the new weapon system hopes to address that. So, don't worry, turrets are getting rebalanced, weapons are getting rebalanced. Hopefully that should sort everything else out. And if not, we're still in alpha, so there's like months and months and months to debate it. Not to say any of this is invalid, please read all the comments. But we're not going to cover it, otherwise we'd be spoiling it for you. So go to reddit.com slash r slash starmade and you can read it all up in depth, get yourself an account and then you can start posting your points of view across. So there you go. Um, Definitely not enough people on there. <laughs> no, there's not enough people on there and uh, you know there are some good guys and Schema is actually admin on this so it is a direct route to the developer if you want to raise a good idea or post a, it's like a zero day vulnerability in the game or however else you wish to phrase it. 
Um, and yeah, always remember that StarMaid is at star-made.org currently. And uh, you'll be able to download everything here. The news here is in the news. That's the launcher that you'll see. And obviously, under download, you can get the game. It's currently free. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much all I've got to say about that. So, thanks again for uh, joining me on this community review. Um, well, we try to look at as many screenshots as possible. In fact, look, since we've been away, there's actually been a whole bunch more screenshots added. And uh, it's interesting to see what people people post up. And um, every, everybody is welcome to add their star made photos in on a daily basis. Make your own folder names. They encourage it actively. So uh, with that being said, I think we're going to call this to a close. So, Riven, you're still here with me, aren't you? I'm always here. Hardcore. I think Dalmont might be busy. Oh no, I'm here. He's with <laughs> Yeah, he's still here too. Excellent. Okay, everyone's still with us. Keeping the faith, brothers. So then, uh, thanks for sticking with me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at a sample of the community. We've only looked at stuff from between a, a day to a month, depending on the category. So I just wanted to mix it up tonight, do something a little bit different. As always, everything is up on the mushroomfleet.co.uk uh, Google Plus community. So thanks again, and I'll see you all next time.